I'm going to bring up one of the queen of the slashers oh, yeah. for my second, <laughs> Miss Pamela Voorhees from 1980s Friday the 13th. And, you know, one thing that I learned about this slasher is there is nothing more scary than a woman's scorn or a mother's rage because she, um, when she starts to execute her plans, she does it uh, with precision. And what, what makes her great as a slasher is as we navigate through the first, we'll say 70% of this film, mm -hmm. we are thinking that we are watching a man do man killing Hurting mm -hmm. all of these 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 counselors for whatever reason, we, we don't know what the motivation is. We just know that they are real light on their feet. They can navigate through the woods effortless, yeah. effortlessly. They are a killer with a Bowie knife that cuts your throat. <laughs> they got archery skills. I mean, pretty much, you know, they they earned all of their uh, all of their badges at whatever camp they went to as a youth. Um, they were good. They were good with it. Good at killing, and <clears throat> as. As the you know, as the, the as the movie grows, you know when we first see Pamela walk up, she's got on the cool blue sweater. She's got the Colgate smile. The only thing missing is a yeah. freshly baked pie. That I mean, she, sweater would go great with some like UNC blue uh, what, jays. Some jays? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> And she's, she's out here, she's, she's got the same look as the woman from Murder, She Wrote, you know what I'm saying, which is kind of, kind of, it's kind of, like, it's kind of like, it's form-fitting. With the knife. Yo, know, the only difference is she ain't writing no murder, dog. She's committing them. So the thing is, like, when she comes up, she's like, you know, she's a traditional mom. She's like, oh, oh Alice. What's wrong? You're crying. Is what? Why? What? Why are you so upset? And she's like, everyone's dead. They're killing them. Every, all the counselors is dead. And she's like, oh yeah. Well, tell me about it. Woo. Very comforting. And then next thing you know, she starts having visions of her of her dead son. And then she starts hearing the voice of Jason telling her to kill him. And then she starts talking to him. Out comes the Bowie mm -hmm. knife, and she's ready to go to work. And you know, it, it, it's a it's a solid one on one fight between Alice and Pamela Voorhees. I mean, Pamela Voorhees, there's, I mean, there's this one part where she throws Alice down and she's laying the, the Ric Flair chop down on him. Yeah. She, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she, mm -hmm. she, she comes through like Jack Torrance, busting through the barn door, smiling. I mean, she was really, really, really menacing. Um, it, it's, it's, it's scary because, you know, no one's expecting a woman to come up on him and no. kill him, yo. Like, that's, that's just the nature of what yes. especially you look at the era that this was made in yes you know? in, 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 in 1980 and the thing of it is is that you know the most impactful part about this is the reveal because like I said we were not expecting this mm -hmm. it's jaw dropping but then to see her execute this and then it just makes you think man I see how she was able to do all of these other things kill all these other people and then you know what um what really kind of just you know just adds an extra intensity to this is because she is kind of being navigated by the voice of her dead son Jason and the only way to take her out is by cutting her head clean off and you know unlike other slashers who um, just can't die you know she does but she does reemerge in later films as a head and she mm -hmm. is also you know as she passes the torch to her son, Jason, who we will bring up in later volumes, I'm sure. Another iconic slasher, but not today. Um, you know, it's a role reversal where in this one, she is driven by his voices. And then later on, he then in turn is driven by hers. So, you know, her presence and, uh, you know, as her as a slasher, as a menacing mother that's just out for vengeance and revenge is going to kill every camp counselor or anyone who steps foot in Camp Crystal Lake. The legacy is there. 